the source of all and in all and of all manifestation or understanding begins in your mind as the universal principle of causation and mathematics, the fundamental truth that illustrates the universal law of sowing good seed in the field for the world or in your mind. See, I can summon things telepathically and communicate with people on a telepathic level. What do you think I'm doing right now? See, this is the underlying theme by which the spirit or the breath of life, the God in you, as you, the generator, operator, destroyer, discovers within yourself the flow of thought that is evolving independently of the reasoning process as I am of every man. Now that principle of mind moves through ideas like music, moves through tones. So it's like spoken word traveling in speed and sound of the rhythm of your vibration. Now the word is God and was with God before he laid the foundation of the earth. Now, you would have to be a highly developed soul to understand uh, the direction of where I'm going with this conversation, and um, more than likely you do, to a greater degree. See, the word gives order and regularity to the movement of things and is divine energy as the self-revelation of God, generator, operator, destroyer. The power of life and death are in the tongue. It's not what goes in your mouth that defiles you, it's what comes out. Because you are the consummation of the word because it is the vehicle through which ideas make themselves manifest. And that becomes flesh that dwells with you. So when the spiritual word abides in man, it's consciousness, that word is filled, formed, and shaped in the intellectual capacity and the sense of his mind that ushers in a new perspective and the right attitude to receive the light and guidance and power from that spirit as manifestation of that idea coming into visibility. Look at Yeshua. He is the I am in man, master, able, noble, at the highest level of frequency. As I am the self, and the directive power that continues to raise us into divine understanding and power through thinking faculties to the fountainhead of existence. And at that fountainhead is the celestial plane, the first plane of the manifested God. Since it is the first manifestation of God, it is the plane of God, the sun, the higher self, or the Christos, so Yeshua said the Son comes forth from the Father just as the celestial plane flows forth from the unmanifested. Now keep in mind what I said earlier, that Yah is a symbol of the Logos. Yah, man, way, woman. Masculine, feminine principle. And there's the outpouring to the four lower planes. From the celestial plane, the Christos comes forth as logos or divine creative energy and the consciousness of God, light, which is associated with the celestial plane. And from the celestial plane comes forth the first outpouring of the light bearing energy. Now that right there is the beginning of the tetragrammation or the spiritual plane associated by the element of fire, ruah. <laughs> It is also the realm of the Holy Spirit in which produces the wisdom nature and is responsible for the uh, higher emotion of intuition. Just as God the Son flows forth in the celestial plane from God the Father, so does the Holy Spirit flows forth from God the Son into the spiritual plane. Like Paul stated, no man can say that Yahshua is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Remember when your pastor said that God is within you 
living inside of you, he was actually right. Because the Christos is the pineal gland and the black dot or the third eye. That pineal gland Christos sits around the third ventricle or third heaven, surrounded by the pituitary gland and the optic thelmus. Thus are the big three, the third ventricle, the third heaven, the pineal gland, God the Father, pituitary, God the Son, optic, thelmus, God the Holy Spirit. All three dwell in heaven, your brain. When the penal or the third eye or Christos is awakened and activated, it releases an oil or a lubricant all on its own to keep it active. This is exactly what King David referred to in Psalms 23. I remember when my pastor used to uh, grab the oil and anoint someone in the center of their forehead. <laughs> what he was doing was symbolically was awaking the Christos penal gland. <laughs>